Well, this week's been kind of slow as far as finding new products to review. So what I've been doing is a couple of videos taking requests from past products. Today I'm doing fried chicken in the Gotham crisper tray and the copper crisper. You may have seen my previous videos of the copper crisper or the Gotham steel crisper tray with the copper crisper, but neither one of those did I make fried chicken. I made breaded chicken strips, but that still isn't fried chicken. And a lot of people wished I had made fried chicken. So that's what I'm doing today, but I'll do my best to make fried chicken turn out right in these crisper trays and see how well we go. So before we can get to the crisper trays, we've got to prepare the chicken and that's what's next. Okay, now I've got the mixture on the chicken. Now normally when you're making fried chicken in the oven, you would put it in a pan with butter. But obviously with these crisper trays, you can't do that. So what I'm gonna do here is spray a little bit of oil on there to help it crisp up and then check it throughout the cooking process and maybe apply some more oil later on. So what I'm gonna do now is spray the chicken and then I'm gonna put it in the crispers and put it in the oven. These are all face down from where I spray the oil. So I'm gonna spray the oil on this side. Just a light spray, I'm holding it about 12 inches away. Copper crisper, Gotham crisper tray, fried chicken, rock and roll. Normally with fried chicken you would flip it after 20 to 30 minutes, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to check on it and maybe spray a little bit more oil if necessary, but I'm not going to flip it because that's the whole idea of the crisper trays. Back he goes. All right, let's take a little peek and see how it looks. Well, it's starting to look like, kind of like fried chicken. What do you think? I'm using these tongs so I can see exactly what's left here so I'm not scraping anything off just to see how much residue is left behind. Okay, there's what I'm left with. Here's the Gotham crisper tray. Here's the copper crisper. Now I'm gonna get it cleaned up and go for round two. How does that look? Came out better than I expected. They, they looked a little bit dry, but when I bit into it, it was pretty juicy. I'm not disappointed. I had kind of low expectations and it certainly exceeded that. Next up is the second batch. What I'm gonna do here is spray a little bit heavier oil and I'm also going to rotate them halfway through, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a crisper tray, but I wanna make these turn out as good as I can. So I'm gonna try one batch without rotating, one with rotating and see if there's a difference. I'm gonna spray more this time. Copper crisper. Gotham crisper tray. I put heavier oil on both of them this time to see if the results are different. And I'm gonna flip them after about a half an hour. Oh, by the way, I didn't clean the bottom of each one of those pans because I was just gonna be reusing it for the second batch anyways. Both of those pans, the nonstick surface is completely gone by this point. They don't even act like nonstick surfaces anymore. 
I would have put tinfoil down, which is the smart thing to do, but because I'm doing a review to show you how the product works, I left the tinfoil off to show you how the pan looks after being used and how difficult it's probably gonna to be to clean it off. It's been 30 minutes. I'm going to flip these, which you shouldn't really have to do on a crisper tray, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And then I'm gonna respray them. All right, adequately sprayed, 30 more minutes. Bye-bye, chicken. All right, time to take it out. Let's see how it looks. I want to say they look a little crispier. Okay, I put heavier oil and flip these halfway through. I don't know, I think they look a little bit crispier. I'm gonna put them on a plate and compare the two. All right, this has heavier oil sprayed on there and flipped halfway through. This has lighter oil, not flipped. Which one do you think looks better? Which one? Chrissy's Cooking Channel, which one do you think looks better? I think that one looks better, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Sorry, there's a couple less of these because I ate a couple because I was getting hungry. Sorry about that. So I don't think it matters if you use the copper crisper or the Gotham crisper tray. It's how you prepare your food in these crispers that makes more of a difference than which crisper you're using. And now that they're done, look at the mess I gotta clean up. Look at that, I don't know, that's gonna be brutal. Brutal, not fun. I'm gonna let these cool off. All right, now for batch number two taste test. How does that look to you? Hmm. Crust is better, it's thicker. As far as cleaning these crispers go, I haven't had as good a luck with them as I have some of the newer generation of copper pans because on those you can actually keep the flame low. In these high heat, I don't think that they hold up as well. The surface degrades and as you can see, these don't clean up nearly as well as they did when they were new. I'd like to thank Christie's Cooking Channel for some advice long distance on how to make these turn out right. I don't think I would have done as well as I did without her advice. I'm gonna link to her channel below because it's a really good cooking channel.